Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you guys my EDC for 2024. I've been watching a lot of EDC videos lately and I just thought maybe I'd make one myself. To start us off, we'll start with my wallet. I carry this triple black Herschel card holder. Uh, very nice little wallet, very durable, very slim, nice material, carries all my major credit cards and IDs and stuff like that. Can carry cash or coins if you'd like it to. I don't, I uh, probably should though. Um, but yeah, this is my wallet. I, I, I love it. It's very slim. Uh, fits in my pocket really nice. And yeah, not too big. That's my wallet. The next item that I carry is my AirPods. I use these on a daily basis at work. I kind of just listen to podcasts, YouTube videos, music, kind of just while I'm working throughout the day, just because uh, I can have one in my ear. Uh, it kind of gets me through the day, really. Uh, I like them. My girlfriend gave these to me because she upgraded to the next generation of AirPods. Um, yeah, really like these. Very simple, nice headphones. Connect to my iPhone really well, really easily. And yeah, that's my AirPods. Now for the flashlight that I carry, I carry this small little micro stream streamlight flashlight. Uh, very nice, very small. Uh, I think it's either the 250 lumen or the 500 lumen, can't really remember. Uh, USB rechargeable, nice little pocket clip, nice little hat clip. Uh, I love this little light. My girlfriend's mom actually got this for me for Christmas and uh, I love it. I carry this thing every single day. Doesn't feel like much in my pockets, very small, very lightweight and pretty bright for the size. And yeah, that's my flashlight. So the next item is pretty important. Uh, whenever I carry my gun, I have to carry this item and that's my pepper spray. Uh, it's made by Palm. Nice little uh, top safety up here so you don't depress it. Uh, also has a nice little pocket clip. I love it because it fits in my pockets very well, very comfortable. Um, I believe that you should have multiple ways to defend yourself. Um, sometimes if you know you can't have your gun, uh, you can carry this, you know, in places where they allow it. Um, but yeah, I love this thing. To me personally, if I can stop them with some spicy shit, I'm gonna stop them with some spicy shit. Now for the knife that I carry, uh, nice little small folding knife, uh, by Kershaw. Uh, I believe this knife was about 60 bucks on Amazon. Uh, I think the steel, uh, the blade is D2 steel. As you can see, I have a lot of wear and tear on it. Nice little affordable knife that you can buy on Amazon. Nothing really special. Has a good little locking mechanism here to open and close. Uh, I like it also because it matches my Apple Watch colorway. Uh, very nice little knife, and this is what I carry every single day. Kind of just use it to open boxes and packages and stuff like that. Not really used as much, but yeah, I love it. So the next thing I carry every single day is my Leatherman. I've got to admit, I don't use it to its full potential, and I want to start using it. Uh, at work sometimes I use it, but most of the time I have all my tools in front of me, so I don't really kind of don't really need it. But uh, I work for a, a glass company, and we do like we replace broken windows and you know old aluminum frame windows sometimes. Sometimes I don't have all my items with me, so you know they have some small tools in here and stuff like that. I'd say the most thing that I use the most on this thing would have to be these scissors. I love these scissors. These scissors are awesome. Uh, they cut through. A lot of things actually uh, I also use the blade on it a lot um, but yeah I need to start using this thing it's kind of like my it, it's in my pocket for at work so like if I don't want to I don't really want to mess that knife up too bad so I kind of just use this as you can see there's like silicone and stuff like that on it uh, but yeah you really just kind of use this for the knife and the scissors sometimes the flathead or the uh, Phillips or the pliers, like the other day, I used the pliers to kind of pull a shard of glass out my finger. Um, but yeah, not used to its full potential, but it will be, I promise. So the next item that I carry is the Apple Watch Ultra, the first version. Um, I love this watch because, man, I don't have to charge this thing often. Like I can leave this thing for like three days without a charge and you know it'll be at like 23%, which will still last me the whole day. Um, it's very durable, it has a nice titanium body. I bang this thing on a bunch of hard surfaces working out in the field and stuff like that. And yeah, it's been very durable. The glass hasn't broke, the body hasn't really shown any damage to it. 
uh, knock on wood. Um, but yeah, I love this thing. I'm able to look at text messages, uh, change my music, change my video, uh, look through emails and stuff like that. Nice big screen. Definitely a nice watch. Definitely very expensive. But if you like Apple products and you know you need something durable and has longer battery life definitely love the apple watch ultra over the regular apple watch of course because um the other apple watch if i would have had that one i think i would have broke it already and i would have got tired of charging it over and over and over again so yeah i love this thing very nice very durable and yeah this is what i wear every single day on this wrist as you can tell watch 10. yeah Okay, so we'll start off with the holster for the next item. I carry a tier one concealed Glock 17 holster. Uh, I'll tell you why it's a Glock 17 holster, even though I'm carrying a Glock 19, uh, made for the uh, Surefire X300. Tier one concealed definitely is one of the best holsters in the game. They definitely feel super comfortable, even with this big ass flashlight. Uh, but I love this holster, uh, definitely nice. It carries a uh, spare mag. Here in California, we can only carry 10 rounds per mag, so I definitely want that extra mag for that extra ammo, because uh, 10 is not enough already. Um, on the back side, I carry this nice little, cheap little Amazon pad that's put on by Velcro. Definitely helps out with the comfort, but I love this holster. Very customizable online with just the colorway and the, the, the cord here, um, but very comfortable holster. Uh, definitely helps me conceal it every single day and be comfortable while doing so and then we'll talk about the gun right now as well okay so the reason why i have a glock 17 holster for a glock 19 is because i have a radium ramjet uh this is a nice little compensator it makes the whole slide basically uh, glock 17 length i get it um the glock 19 doesn't have uh, a lot of recoil in general uh, but this helps you know it reduces the recoil by 40 percent and i'm just a sissy you know i need that 40 percent um again i have the x300 uh quick detach version i know some people don't like that as well just because it could fall off but the reason why i like it is because i use this uh tier 1m uh holster very minimalistic holster just for when I'm, you know, in shorts and stuff like that, I want to carry something very light that day. Um, I can just detach that and then put it in this holster here. Again, Velcro for the little pad. But yeah, very minimalistic um, holster here. So yeah, so we went over the light. We went over the comp. Uh, these are Amerigo suppressor height sights. They don't have any color on the front or back sights because it kind of throws me off when I'm looking for my red dot. Um, anyways, those are the suppressor height sights. I run the Trijicon RMR, the Type 2. Um, I got some slide work done, uh, some uh, stippling work done. Definitely love this gun. Uh, hasn't had any malfunctions on me at all and super reliable. So, yeah. Um, for the ammo that I carry, I carry uh, Hornady, I think this is Critical Duty, yeah, ammo, 9mm, uh, with the stock Glock mag, fits nice and flush, uh, doesn't kind of come out when it's uh, under my shirt. Uh, the reason why I have an extended mag on this one is so that when I do do reloads, I can easily grab this with this bigger piece here. Yeah, very nice, simple setup, and that's my Glock 19 set. I kicked the camera stand, so it's not in the same frame. But anyways, that is my everyday carry for 2024. This is what I carry. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, please comment, like, and subscribe uh, for more videos. Definitely want to do uh, more videos. Want to come back to YouTube. Haven't made YouTube videos in a long time. And, you know, uh, just thought this was kind of fun. I like to do a lot of fishing, a lot of shooting, a lot of outdoor stuff. So you'll definitely be seeing that on this channel. Uh, if you guys liked anything uh, that I have here, I'll put it in the link down below. And thank you guys for watching.